Hey everybody, it's CompHelp. Thank you for watching this video in which I will show you how to make this boom text. Now it's not going to be this wallpaper. I've already made a, you know, a tutorial on this wallpaper, but it will be boom text like this. Okay, and we're actually going to be using a program called 3D's Max to make this text, okay? So if you don't have that program, sorry you're out of luck, but um, that's why I provided the this, this uh, graphic for you in the wallpaper tutorial. But um, yeah, the first thing you need is the font, which is right here under font.com. I'll have the link in the description. You want to click the download button, which will download this right here, okay? And you're going to double click that to open it, and you're going to have this right here. Okay, this is what you want, that plink.ttf there. And you're just going to go into your start button and type in font or fonts. Or you can go to your control panel, appearance, personalization, fonts. And you're just going to drag that in. And once you've dragged it in, it will install it. I've already installed it, so of course I'm not going to do it. All right, so the next thing you want to do is go ahead and open up 3D's Max. What we want to do is go over to the shapes and then text. Okay, make sure in the splines pull down. And you're just going to click, okay, in the front view. And type in the text that you want. I'm going to type in uh, Jerry. Now we're going to go... Uh, to the font and bring it down to the planet cosmos I believe it's called there it is and there we go that's the font that we've created uh, or I mean downloaded let's go to the modify uh, panel here and let's apply a, an extrude modifier and let's go to the perspective view full screen bring out a bit and you can bring the amount to like a negative number, a nice negative number. And you'll see that the Y, sometimes you'll have corrupted letters like this. And we'll fix that in a bit. Okay, so just bring it out a pretty sweet amount right there. I don't know, 168.5 is what I did. That'll work out just fine. As long as we move the camera, I mean, we can you know, make it look like there's a ton or, or a little bit of extrusion going on. All right, so to fix this letter Y, what we're going to do is it apply a cap holes modifier. So cap holes, and there we go. It's capped up uh, that Y there. So everything is good to go. Okay, um, let's go ahead and Alt W again. So we have uh, a view of all sides. Okay, and we're actually going to add some lights. So let's go to the Create tab and go to Lights. Instead of Photometric, go to Standard, and we're going to do Target Spot. And I'm going to shine one from the middle, about there. And we can see in the perspective view exactly what we're getting. Um, so I'm going to right click in the top view press W and bring this light back a bit so we get more uh, over here in the perspective view showing. Okay. All right, so then I'm going to hold shift and drag this like from the side and copy, okay. Now on the left you want to press I'm going to go up up some so we're getting light over on the top now. And then I'm going to go in the top view again and shift hold shift and move so I can duplicate it again. Get some light at the top right there. All right, so it looks pretty intense. Might be a little too intense, I don't know. Uh, we'll see in a bit. All right, you know what, this middle light right here, I'm gonna actually bring it up just a bit. Okay, so now we have like three lights on this sucker. It's kind of a lot, but uh, we'll see how it works out. All right, the next thing we wanna do is actually set up our, uh, our size of our rendering. Okay, so make sure you go to perspective and show safe frames or shift F so we can see the safe frames Okay, this is the window that's going to be rendering let's go over to the render setup and we're going to change the output size to HDTV and select 10, uh, 1280 by 720 for a 720 shot exit out of that now the safe frames are showing our 720 uh, shot okay so I'm gonna zoom out just a bit right about there and you know, position the text how you want it to be um, when you, you know, export it and stuff. So I want it maybe around there-ish. Okay. I'm gonna go full screen now. And now what I want to do is go and bring up the material editor by pressing M, the M key. And for, instead of standard, select car paint under mental ray. Go to car paint. Might take a bit. And then just drag that onto your text and now we can actually change the base color and such and to get a better idea of what we're doing so you don't have to render it each time just double click this thumbnail and uh, you know you'll have our 
little thumbnail or a little preview. And I think I gave it like a dark turquoise ish color. Something like that is what I did. And then we also have to change the light facing color. Okay, uh, white's too. Let's see, another turquoise. Alright, whatever. Um, light facing, so on there, click OK. And then let's render this out, see what it looks like. Alright, that's what I have. It's a little intense on the light. So, what I'm going to do, let's go back, and the front light looked the most intense, so I'm going to select it, I'm going to go to the modify panel, and intensity and color, change this down to like 0.5 maybe, maybe that's too, not enough, render it out again, let's see what we got, oops, rendered the wrong, the wrong viewport here, and you know what, I think I like the way this is looking. And then from here, you know, if, if you don't like the way the specs look and stuff, you can always change that in the material editor, so press M. And then under here, you know, you can change the flake color and the flake weight and everything. Alright, so from here, what we're going to do is just render it out, and then we're going to save it. Now, don't worry about the black background, because that won't show up when we save this as a PNG. So here we go, it's all rendered out. We're just going to go over here to the Save Image button. Save it to wherever you want. I'm going to save it on my desktop here. I'm going to save this as text. And save type as PNG. And click save. And OK. And there you go. You now have your own text. Might not look big from here, but I mean, it's a pretty big size text that, you know, should work out for any size Photoshop um, project that you do. And if it's not big enough, you can always change the. Uh, the scale of the rendering. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Alright, so thank you for watching this video. Please thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Um, that's pretty much it. Remember to check out the links in the description. Bye.